In this video, I'm going to show you how to get a case URL uh, if you want to view the case which was recently created. So just give you an example, like I'm a Dynamics 365 Customer Service Hub application and there are many cases which has been created over here. Now, take for example a scenario whereby a, a user, if a user wants to know uh, which case has been created newly just by receiving an email. Okay, so if I see this case, okay, one of the case which was created, like uh, if the user clicks on that email, then this particular page should open up. Okay, so just to start with, what we can do, we can make use of Power Automate. So uh, in Power Automate, what I'm going to do, I'm going to click on New Flow and I'll call it as an Automated Cloud Flow. Now here, I'll say uh, when case is created. Okay, so. Uh, so this is and the trigger is dataverse trigger so in dataverse trigger when it is added modified or deleted i'll click on create and then uh, this will create uh, the flow structure so the goal is basically when a case is created i should receive an email okay now what are the change type over here it's added when a case is added and what are the table name the table name is basically cases so here i'll type cases and then the scope is organization and i'll just add a new step which will just send an email and I'll, for just for testing purpose i'll just put my name and here i'll send across various information in an email okay so it's created and here i can put various details like the case id case name or case title rather case description and case url okay now in the url if someone copy that url or clicks on that url then the case application should open with that specific case okay just to get case id what i can do i can just click on the expression over here and then i can put in id uh, or maybe case id so here i can get the unique identifier of the case but this is not what i am looking for i'm looking for case number okay so basically it's a case number this is a case number then case title and case description is url now if you see here if you just type url you will not find a direct url of the case through which you can open through a specific app now that's the gray area now here the goal is to find out what will be the url now just to find out what the url would be we just need to go into open any of the record uh, on which of the whichever application we want in customer service hub application so take for example if i go into this uh, cases list here i can go into any of the case like say i'm just going into say case two over here okay now here i'll just copy the url now let's dissect the url and see what's there in the url okay so this is the url now here uh, i'll just put an enter over here just to show you how it looks like and this is an another ampersand and ampersand and ampersand okay now let's see what information we have over here yep so if you see here this is uh, the url now this is pretty much static okay this is pretty much static this is dynamic this is app id this is the case id okay so the case id so this you, we can get it very easily okay this one we need to do something to get it okay and once we get all this thing we can stitch up this url now even grabbing this url is a bit difficult but what i can do is i will uh, show you some method to extract those uri okay uh, now let's start uh, crafting this url uh, so first just to keep a structure on this flow what we can do is we can add an action i'll add compose action i'll add three compose action so one compose action second compose action 
and third compose action. Okay. The first one uh, will get, I'll just rename this, I'll call it as get app ID. Okay. And here I'll say get case ID. And here I'll say uh, get URI. Okay. And now, once we get an app ID, when we get a case ID, get URI, then what we can do, we can go ahead and uh, stitch all this thing together, right? So we can add another action uh, of compose, which will uh, basically uh, stitch all those things together, okay? So uh, let's form that first. Okay, so here uh, when I click here on the function, I'll say I'll have a concat function, and that concat function will add up something. Okay, now it will add up uh, this particular URL. Okay, now this we want this entire thing. Now here this part https colon slash slash. Okay, till here what I can do I can just put it in this concat thing okay, and then comma and here I'll just put uh, for time being uh, a, 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 okay which is this dynamic component this one I'll just call it as a, a, a for time being okay this a, a, a for me and then slash main dot ASPX and uh, question mark app ID equal to And then this is BBB, which is basically uh, the app ID, okay? Uh, and then this is all uh, static thing. So I can copy it till here, okay? And even ampersand ID equal to here, I can just hard code this. Okay, uh, so let me form this properly. Page type equal to entity record, ampersand ETN equal to incident and id equal to okay so this is one and then we have this part which is a case id which i can mark it as ccc okay and then i can close this concatenation okay uh, now here https colon slash slash uh, comma a a a click on save okay so this is how my concatenation function looks like if i go inside it I have created concat and then AAA, BBB, CCC, which are dynamic component, which I need to extract, okay? Now, AAA, which is basically, uh, if I go into this case part, this is that URI, which I need to extract, okay? Now, in order to do all these things, what we can do is, you know, we have taken help of this part, okay? Now, uh, we need to get the actual row record, Okay, so if I go to data verbs, I'll extract a row record that is get row by ID. Now I'll tell you why I'm doing that. Okay, in a while. So here, if I go to table, I'll just put the table name as cases. And the row ID is the one which I'm getting from the trigger. Okay, so if I say ID and this is the unique identifier of the case. So get a row by ID when row is added or modified uh, and then um, I'll just rename this and I'll call this as get case ID. Get record rather, this is the record, we are getting the record. Okay. Now simple thing first if i want to get the case id it is very simple what i can do i can just come here add a dynamic value and then call it as id which is a unique identifier of the case which is here so this is very much simple we got a case id this is that component okay now let's see how do we extract the app id now app id is a bit uh, tricky to get uh, but what we can do for time being, we'll just put some value over here. Our app ID is AAA, okay? And URI, I think the URI is AAA. App ID is a BBB, okay? So I'll just type in 
VPP. And I'll just save this flow. Now, this one is uh, will give you the actual URL, the compose action, which is basically stitching up using a concatenation action. So here I'll say uh, actual case URL. Okay, and this, what we want is we want this to be part of this case URL, right? This is the goal of the entire exercise. Okay, and let's just save this. Okay, now we have just got case ID. We haven't got app ID. We haven't got uh, the URI okay now just run this and see how it works okay now we can't run this manually because we need to actually create a record okay so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna just go into the cases and I'll create one case and I'll just put some random value so I'll just put in case title the customer and some description just save this let me duplicate the stats just to see the runs now the basic what we are trying to achieve is we are trying to get this app ID but this app ID from we can hard code this but then we don't want to hard code it because it should be dynamic across the system and we know this is a customer service hub application okay uh, so here when we run this power automate flow which gets automatically triggered when a case is created let me close this because that's not the that we duplicate the staff Let me go to my flows and I'll see the flow run from there itself because if I do the duplicate tab, it's not showing me the recent records. So if I go here, I'll just say run history um, and it shows that it has succeeded. Now, if I click on this run history record, then uh, in the first uh, trigger part, if you closely observe for show raw outputs, now here you will not see the URL, uh, the URL which we are looking for. The URL is basically uh, org one two three dot dynamics dot com. You know now we can't see that in this particular uh, trigger component, right? Now that's the whole reason to get this get record. Now here in get record, if I do a show raw output, here you will see this url component now the goal is to extract this uri component okay now how can we do that is uh, it's it's very simple basically we just need to extract uh, the the uri host component of uh, odata.id so if you see this if i just uh, extract the host component then i'll be able to get uh, this particular url okay it's called as uri okay so i just want this part so that is one uh, that we will get. So what we can do is uh, I'll just go into the flow and go to get URI. And if I go to the URI, I'll just remove this and I'll just write a function, simple function, which is which extract the URI host. And uh, the outputs is uh, of something uh, which I'm going to just fill this okay and then we just saw body slash at the rate odata.id okay so that's what we okay and I'll just click on save okay now the which part we are looking into is it's a get record part right get record so we just write we just need to write that correctly so i'll just get record so get record okay. i think then this should give us a correct uh, uri host 
okay so we'll, we'll keep that aside get app id now this is also very interesting now in order to get all the app listed within your environment uh, we will take help of a dataverse component which will uh, which will basically uh, get all the rows okay so if i click on microsoft dataverse it will give you list rows so if i click on list rows now here there is one special table called as a model driven app okay so if i click on the search and if i type in this model driven app then this will help me get the app name okay so this is called as app modules okay now here i just need to filter with some condition okay now model driven app uh, let me show you what what i meant by that model driven app so let me save this and uh, let me again run this application so how to run is uh, you just click on new type in some value and then run that flow So the goal, uh, what we are trying to achieve is we are trying to get this app ID. Now this app ID is, you know, we know that this is a customer service hub application, but how do we get the 71F in a dynamic way? Uh, now in the run history, if we see, so we have uh, used list rows and we are extracting the app ID app name uh, here. If you see here, we are going for model driven app. If I say click on download, click to download, then I'll get this whole bunch of JSON. Okay, I'll just copy this JSON and I'll use a JSON viewer to view it. And in the viewer, if you closely watch under body, it has all the value, body slash value. And then there are various items, okay? Now this item specifies the number of apps, okay? So if you have 50 apps, then it will show you 50, zero to 49. Now, if I go into say one of the app, okay? So that's number four. If I click on this number four, watch over here, there are two components, which is very much important for us. One is the name. Now this name is Power Pages Manage App or something, okay? and if I, if I see here, there is app module ID. This will give you that app module ID, okay? Now, this is what we want. We want the output as app module ID and the name we know it's customer service hub. Like the name of the app is customer service hub. Now, what we can do in the flow, I'll just say filter rows where name EQ customer service And, uh, and I know the record would be one, so that's fine. Uh, and from here, uh, get, I'll just say, rename this and say, get app ID CS hub. Okay, this is just a reference, okay? From here, now it, it will record this, it will, once it is run, it will give you a lot of records, right? Now we just want the first record. So how do we craft the code is basically, uh, we just say first of, first of outputs. Now we want the outputs of the action which we just wrote, get app ID CS hub, okay? Now once we get this question mark, we want body slash value, right? If you see here, if you go into our JSON Weaver, what we want is uh, body. This is body slash value, body slash value. And within that body slash value, we want this column, app module ID. Okay. So how do you frame this? We just say body slash value. Close this. Okay. So we want the output of this. Okay. And the first record of this so i'm just closing all these braces i'm closing this brace this brace question mark app module id okay. 
So I think this should be good. I'll just copy this and put it as out of the compose. So that's getting app ID, right? And I'll just save this. And if it is well formed, yes, this should be good. I'll just save this and I'll try to uh, run this just by adding a record. Okay. So I'll just add a new record over here. So just to check the email, now the email which I received, uh, it has this URL because we haven't uh, worked on the concatenation part. So we need to start putting out this token now, triple A, triple B and triple C. So if you go into the flow, uh, this is the case URL formula. Let me go to the expression. Okay, so this one is coming from actual case URL, which is a concatenation. Now here in triple A, which is like the get URI, what we can do is we can just plug this with get URI. So dynamic values and get URI outputs. Okay. And then we can have this triple B, which is basically an app ID. Here, I'll just take this off and get app ID. Get app ID. And this is the case ID. So here, you can just take this off. And get case ID. And then I think we should be good with this. So this is concatenation, but I think there is some issue with the syntax. So this is outputs of get URI. So let me promote this because I think this should be a string. And this one also, I'll just remove the single quotes. this one as well just save this let me save this and now if i run this got save I think it is saved with no error, so let me save this again. It's still saving. It's saved now, so let me add another record. Yes, I think it has triggered now. Let me see what email did I get. So, yep. Now, if you see, the email is well formed. So, if I copy this URL and I just paste this, let's see what it turns out to be. So yes, it opens the exact record, okay? So what we have done is we have crafted the URL by 
appending the case ID, app ID, uh, and the actual uh, uh, URI component of the uh, application. Now, uh, just to give you a summary of what we have done in the flow, let me go into the flow and show it to you. First, the, the goal, the entire goal of the application was to basically generate a case URL. Okay, so this was the complete goal. Now, in order to do that, what we did is like we opened one of the case and then we tried uh, doing a segregation of the record. Now here we came to know that the record which we just created uh, uh, has this URL, okay? So let me paste this. This is a URL. Now this is the dynamic component, okay? This is the dynamic component. And this is the dynamic component. Now this one is case ID, which we can easily get. App ID, we need to do something. And then in order to get the URI component, uh, we made use of the one of the action, which is uh, getting the record by ID. From here, we have created three compose box, which gets a get app ID, case ID, and get URI. For URI, we use URI host method. Get app ID is simple. How do you get is first you iterate through a model driven app. Uh, and then that table name itself is called as a model dash driven apps. And here we have filtered one record name equal customer service hub because the application name is customer service hub. Now, if your application is something else, like say, if you have a uh, customer service workspace, then that app ID will be different compared to CS hub. If you see here, CS hub, the app ID starts with 71F and customer service workspace app ID starts with FD17. So that's how you basically get the uri and the ids and then what you do is like you stitch all this using a concat function so concat function will concat all this uri component append the app id get the dynamic app id get the dynamic case id and then once that is done you send it across through an email now here in the email what you can do you can append it uh, to a a tag so that user need not copy the URL. They can just click on the URL and the uh, user will be landing into the case which has been recently created as you see over here. So that's it folks. This is how you basically craft a case URL uh, for rendering in a customer service hub application.